Hi YouTube, I'm Tom and this is my little helper for today, my granddaughter Lily. Hi! Today we're going to do, I would call it a uh, unboxing, but it didn't come in a box. So we're going to do a little review of the Nature's Yard Hanging Tray Hummingbird Feeder. I picked this up at our local tractor supply. Uh, it was about just under $10. I got this because we, uh, we do have some trouble with bees in our yard, uh, getting into the hummingbird feeders with the larger holes without bee guards. Um, and I don't have this style of hummingbird feeder. It's basically a tray system, has uh, multiple flower heads, large and small. Uh, it has uh, roost style deals or perch style deals so the, uh, the hummingbird if they want to take a break can sit here it has a built-in ant moat which is very nice and uh, we're going to pop this open so we can get to the hanger um, it just kind of undoes there's no real uh, yeah it's a little bubble wrap in there to support the hanger it's in there nice you can kind of see the ant mode right here inside. Let's, uh, let's get uh, a little close up and uh, we'll show you this real close. Alright, we got you close up in here. So you can see the inside where the uh, hummingbird nectar sits in the basin. Uh, like I said, it has a built in ant moat. You fill with water. Uh, these are the petals. Um, has nice small bee holes that the bees can't get in on all of the uh, the hummingbird petals. The ones the smaller petals are a little bit bigger, uh, but they're not as big as some of them that I've seen. Uh, I think this will do just fine. Let's see. Basically, you, you would fill this interior up and you would put your, your top back on. And then fasten it with your hook. You know, spin it on until it won't spin anymore. It goes down in there pretty far so it should hold and don't wrench it on. I found that a lot of uh, this type of way of fastening things where there is a uh, collar m molded into the plastic, if you wrench it, it will snap off. So just all you need is kind of hand tight, finger tight, and you know, fill the top part up through here with a little bit of water. That way, you know, when the ants come down the stem, uh, they will get stuck in there and they won't bother you. They won't get into your nectar. All right. We are going to put this in the backyard next to a few of our other hummingbird feeders. Uh, it's early in the year here. Even though we're in Florida, we just started seeing hummingbirds about the middle of last month in, uh, in March. Uh, we have a male and female that are definitely coming constantly, uh, possibly others as well. Uh, so I'm hoping that they'll be attracted to this. Uh, we will give you an update video down the line, possibly after our hummingbird season is done here when the migration is over. Uh, we usually have them pretty much all summer long um, and then early fall they'll start to disappear and then we will see periodic other hummingbirds come through the area here and there they only stay for a day or so and then they uh, make their trip across the uh, uh, Gulf of Mexico to uh, the uh, warmer climates. I hope you enjoyed our video don't forget to like and subscribe. There you go. And uh, we will see you next time.